Over the last three years, I've worked to develop software that uh, helps to manage peer evaluations. To see how it works, let's assume that you're an English 1 teacher that assigned your students an autobiographical paragraph. And uh, you even gave them some instructions that explain what they need to do. But let's assume this is one of those students that doesn't like to read instructions. They just jump straight into the assignment and uh, they go ahead and create a document. And they start working. So this student, uh, they vaguely remember that they were supposed to uh, create a header and they put their last name in it. So they remember that and that's about all they remember. So to, to help them along, I've created this add-on. And uh, so the get add-ons page here, we search for document evaluator and just click on it there and install. Now there's some permissions here that may look a little bit scary, especially this one that says see, edit, create, and delete your spreadsheets in Google Drive, but really all it does is uh, allow uh, students to read a specific spreadsheet that a teacher creates, uh, and then a spreadsheet I've created so that uh, it can populate a menu that they're going to view. So now if I click on add-ons, I have the option to click on document, evaluator, and evaluate. I'm going to shrink this down so that that gives us a little bit more room over here. And you can see that uh, now I can choose a teacher and I'm going to choose the demo teacher. And if there were more than one assignment, I could choose different assignments. And then the student here now has the ability to look at different evaluations. Right now we're looking at the teacher's evaluation, but no teacher has evaluated this assignment yet. You can see uh, that based up here where it says evaluations and none. Uh, so down here, there's a list of requirements for this assignment. It says header is aligned to the right side of the page. Oh, hey, up here, this header that I just created, I forgot I need to align that to the right side of the page. So I'm going to click on my three dots and I'm going to click the right uh, align tool. Now if I'd forgotten how to do that, there's actually a hyperlink right here that I set up that would take me to a YouTube video that would remind me how to do that. And then header includes last name of the author. Yeah, I did that. And I did that. And now it says short autobiographical paragraph is between 100 and 150 words. Well, I'm going to go ahead and write a short autobiographical paragraph now. And I'm just going to say uh, I was born in Wasilla, Alaska. And let's suppose I'm kind of lazy and I just stop right there. I'm going to pretend that I did this. And so I check the box. And now it says that it's complete. Now when other people view this evaluation, um, we should see that they have something up here. Now let's suppose that my teacher told me I could not turn this assignment in until I received a peer evaluation. In order to get a peer evaluation, I need to click share. And I need to share it with that peer. Now, the peer I'm going to share it with is a demo peer here. It's peer at akrobotner.com. And I have to give them edit access. And then I'm going to send. Now, here I'm logged in as the peer in the class. And I see that the student has shared with me their document. So I'm going to open up that document. And I'm going to click on Add-ons. And the Document Evaluator Evaluate here. And I can see that this student completed the evaluation. Now it says student here because that's the first part of the email address that I created. It's a, it's a, 
demo email address, so that's why it says that, you would see the username of that student, the part that's before the domain in their email address. Um, as the peer, I, it is now my duty to go through and check through these boxes as well. Now, the peer is able to look and see if what the student has checked off. Because it says complete here, I know that all of the check boxes for the student are checked. But it might be the case that, uh, let's say, another peer in the class also evaluated this document. I could see what that other peer did if they showed up in this list. At any rate, as the peer, I'm going to go through and see, let's see, the header is aligned to the right side of the page. Yep. Header includes the last name of the author. Yep. And then short autobiographical paragraph is between 100 and 150 words. That's not true, so I'm not going to check it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell the student that I've evaluated their document and that they need to go back and take care of the things they didn't do. Now, as the student, I can click on add-ons and document evaluator and evaluate, and I can look at what my peer, peer said about my document. I can see that my peer evaluated my document, and they said that it's incomplete. So what I'm going to do is click over to peer and see which boxes they checked and which ones they didn't check. So I can see that they did not check that the header, or that they did check that the header is aligned to the right, and that it includes my last name, but that I didn't do the paragraph. So now I know what I need to work on. My peer has communicated through this tool to me what I need to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and add another sentence here. Let's see, I was born in Wasilla, Alaska. Um, I went to school uh, at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. Now, I'm going to pretend that I'm still kind of a little bit of a lazy student here, and I'm not going to actually write a hundred words. So then I'm going to again say that I checked this, right? This is the box that I can check. I'm going to say that I did it, and I'm going to give it back to that peer. Now, logged in as the peer, I can go ahead and click on Add-ons and Document Evaluator Evaluate, and I can reevaluate this document. And it might be the case that I decide, you know, I just don't want to deal with this student anymore. Or maybe I'm lazy, or maybe I'm just not paying close enough attention, and I don't see that the student didn't actually do what they were supposed to do. Who knows what the reason is, but maybe it's the case. for any one of those reasons, the peer checks the box and says that the evaluation is complete. So now, as the student, when I click on Evaluate, I will be able to see that I have a, a passing evaluation from a peer. Now, in my classroom, this is a big deal because this is what allows me to turn in an assignment. I know that my teacher won't even try, won't even bother to grade my assignment if he does not see a complete peer evaluation. So I'm going to go back to uh, the uh, Google Classroom here, and as the student, I'm going to turn in this assignment. As the teacher, I go to uh, my students' assignments and grade them just like I normally would. To be able to access the evaluator add-on, I'm going to click on this little button here, and then I can click on Add-ons, Document Evaluator, Evaluate. And this lets me look at the document here and evaluate it right here while still having the Google Classroom menu bar for actually plugging in a grade all on one screen. Uh, so I can see here the student uh, has a header that's aligned to the right. It includes their last uh, name, but they didn't write a paragraph that's between 100 and 150 words. So I'm not going to check this box. Now, there's one button that the teacher has that the student and the peer evaluator don't have, and that is the copy this evaluation to all others. I'm going to go ahead and click on this. Well, actually, uh, before I do that, I want to take a look and show you that the student 
has three checkboxes here and that the peer has three checkboxes. Now when I go back and look at my evaluation and I copy my evaluation to all others, uh, the evaluations have been reset. If I refresh the document evaluator, I can now see that when I go to look at the student's evaluation, that box has been unchecked. Same with the peer's evaluation. It has been unchecked. So I, as the teacher, I have been able to communicate to both the student and the peer that this part of the assignment was not done and that, it ne that the student needs to go back and do it and that the peer needs to pay a little bit closer attention when they peer evaluate this part of the assignment. As a practical matter, when I grade assignments like this for my students, I look to make sure first that they have graded it themselves. I should see the student's username right here and it should say complete. If they haven't bothered to evaluate their own assignment, I'm not going to take the time to do it. I also am looking for specific usernames for peers. In my classroom, I typically have a handful of students that do really well on a, a given assignment and I make them the peer evaluators. I give them a little bit of extra training and I show them what to look for and what things they need to really watch out for. And so then they serve as sort of a gateway in my classroom where uh, the rest of the students in my class, they can't turn in garbage. They have to meet some sort of minimum requirement before their teacher will look at it. And so they have to go to, you know, one of five or six students. Uh, if I see a peer here, uh, a different username, it might be the student's buddy. Well, I just ignore it. And I tell the student, hey, you have to have this assignment graded by one of the select peers. Now, if, if you have a different teaching philosophy, that's okay. You can have uh, you can have it set up to where you accept whatever uh, peer username you want. You could have two friends evaluate each other. That's fine. It's your choice. But this tool just allows you to see who that peer evaluator was and what they, what they said about that student's document. What makes all of this possible is the uh, a spreadsheet that the teacher defines inside their Google Drive and it is here the document evaluator requirements you have to create a four column spreadsheet that looks something like this where you can assign a point value for each requirement you come up with a unique key so each one of these items here needs to be different and then you come up with the description of that item that's uh, in plain English. Over here, optionally, you can provide a hyperlink to a YouTube video or to a specific slide in a slideshow that explains exactly how to do that requirement or more information about that requirement. This hyperlink here corresponds to the hyperlink uh, that you're taken to when you click on this little arrow. In addition to the document evaluator add-on, I've also created a slideshow evaluator add-on and a spreadsheet evaluator add-on that work the exact same way. I hope that these add-ons help you as a teacher uh, manage peer evaluations much more efficiently so that you can provide your students with way more feedback than you otherwise would be able to without spending nearly as much time grading.